In the previous module, you studied about the purpose of geometric constraints in a parameterized drawing. So in this module, you will learn how to apply it to the design. In this class, let's add geometric relationships, manually as well as automatically. You only need to use the parameterization tools on the parametric tab, and then access specifically to the tools on the geometric panel. Start the class. Observe this open file. You add geometric relationships to the drawing entities to make them parameterized. First, let's study the Auto Constraint tool. This tool automatically applies all required geometric relationships to define the drawing. It works quite simply. Just enable the tool, select the drawing and confirm C. After applying the command, some boxes will now be displayed to identify the constraint type applied to the element. Throughout this class and the next, we will introduce these elements in greater detail. You can even control the added constraint type using the Auto Constraint tool. You need to click the displayed arrow to do this. Then you need to click the Auto Constraint tab and select the constraint, so it is applied to the new dialog box. This is how the priority order is applied. Change the priority order by selecting the desired constraint and then click Move Up or Move Down to change the priority order. The Select All and Clear All buttons are used to select or unselect all constraints on the list. To go back to default settings, click Reset. After finishing the settings, confirm the data in the dialog box. But in the case of the Auto Constraint tool, it inserts constraints automatically. Now let's learn how to insert constraints manually. Let's access the Coincident tool. This tool keeps the points or objects coincident no matter how they are edited. Take a look at this. Normally you enable this tool and only select entity points which are part of the project. Apply this and see the results. However, there are another two options, Object and Auto Constraint. The Object option lets you select objects. See how it works. In the Auto Constraint option, you can select several objects so that the constraint is applied to all entities in a single command. C. Next, let's study the collinear constraint. This constraint, when applied, aligns two straight lines based on the same reference point. Only objects can be selected for the application of this constraint. When you move an object, which is collinear to another, automatically the other object is moved. C. Concentric is another constraint that forces arcs and circumferences to keep the same midpoint. See how this lets you just select objects the same way as the previous constraint. And, when an element is moved, all the other elements will be moved based on this constraint, as shown. So in this class, you have studied about automatic and manual geometric relationships. In the next class, you will continue learning about inserting geometric relationships manually.